name's Andy, I'm the technical director for Pentland Wholesale. We've put a short video together to show you the Blizzard Storm range of glass and dishwashers. The Storm glass and dishwashers are come in a range of basket sizes starting from 350mm square to 400mm square and the biggest one is the 500mm square basket. All the options are available with gravity drain or drain pump models and for dishwasher applications we've got the BT models which indicate it's got an integrated brake tank to conform with current UK water regulations. The beauty with the Blizzard Storm is simplicity. They've all got a standard control panel where you've got an on-off switch. You've got three cycle options uh, available. All the models come with two baskets, integrated detergent and rinse aid pumps, they also come configured with a thermostat function which always ensures that your um, items that are being washed are rinsed with hot water. Right. Further information on the models available are available on our website with all the technical literature. On all the dishwasher versions with the brake tanks, they come complete with surface filters to give you that additional level of protection for debris entering the wash tank. All the 500 square basket machines have configurable power supplies where we can configure the power supplies from 13 amp to 30 amp to either three phase to suit your particular installation requirements. Right, now the installation of these units is very important. You need to make sure you've got sufficient power supply to suit the machine that you're installing and it's got a suitable isolator within a one metre of the actual uh, location of the unit. You also need a cold water supply and a drain outlet. The drain outlet, if you've got a gravity machine, has to be below the machine so that the water can drain away. And if you've got a pumped outlet, your drain's got to be within approximately six to eight hundred millimetres from floor level. It's always important for machines on a solid um, level surface so the machine's levelled up properly and that you've got the right chemicals to suit a cabinet glass washer. The machine is supplied with two chemical tubes. The blue one is for the rinse aid. So the blue colour represents similar to the rinse aid and the clear tube is for your detergents. So all you do is you put those tubes into the bottles and the machine will uh, prime the detergent through but twice the installation process you have to prime the detergent and rinse aid pumps. Further advice on that can be found on our website. We put together a training booklet to assist you with the installation and commissioning of the units. Now we have here the Storm 40, which is the 40mm basket machine. This one is a gravity drain model. Now all the control panels are the same. So once you've installed the unit correctly, we do recommend that it's connected to a soft water supply. If you haven't got soft water, we would recommend the use of an external water softener. Now to switch the machine on, you uh, open the door, you make sure that the filter and the drain plugs in position. You shut the door and you press and hold the on-off switch until it illuminates. The machine will switch on and from the first start up the machine will start to fill and it will start to heat up. When it's up to full temperature, this temperature satisfied light will come on and then it's ready for first use. You can then select which cycle you want to run. You've got your 90 second cycle, 2 minute cycle and 3 minute cycle by pressing the corresponding buttons. Now to start the cycle, you just press and release the cycle button. Now that will do a wash cycle. When the cycle's fully finished, the light will go out. Right, the light's gone out now, so the cycle is finished. Now the Storm 40 is the only model in the range which has a cold rinse function, which is indicated by the third switch. If you press and hold the third switch in for a few seconds, the light will start flashing, and what that then does is it complete a uh, manual call rinse and the primary function of that is if you've just done a full cycle and your glasses are hot and you suddenly get a coarse load of people into your bar and you suddenly need the glasses quick 
you can press the call rinse button and that will just take the edge off your glasses so it helps to cool the glasses down so you'll be able to go serve beer straight into them. Right, at the end of the session, uh, usually just after your lunchtime period or at the end of the day when you're ready to shut the machine down, you switch the machine off, you're pressing on the on off switch until the light goes out, that switches the machine off. On the gravity drain versions, you would then open the door and you would pull the drain plug out which is situated just to the front left hand side. The machine will then fully drain away and the filter will then trap any uh, debris that's been caught in the machine. Right. Only when the machine is fully drained, you can take the filter out. Now the filter is situated just under the drain plug. You twist it slightly to the left to disengage it and you lift it out. And any dirt that's been in the machine will be contained in this little lip on the bottom of the filter. You would then remove the filter, <coughs> bang it out over a drain and then rinse it clean. It's always important once you've cleaned it to put it back in because filters tend to have a habit of getting lost and then reinsert the drain plug so you make sure that all the components stay with the machine. Also just check around the machine, clean any debris that might be still sat in the bottom. Make sure that the wash hives top and bottom spin freely. Periodically, maybe once a week or if you notice that there's some blockages, the wash hives can be removed easily for cleaning. You just undo the no bolt on the top of the arms and the arms will just lift up. You need to make sure that this area underneath is clean, that area around the fulcrum is clean and also you can rinse, back rinse all these under running water under the sink. Once they're cleaned, you can put that back on. Put the bolt back in. And just make sure that they spin freely. And do the same with the top jets as well.